Good day, sir. My name is Nurse Shamin, and I will be conducting a lung and thorax assessment. May I have your name and date of birth, please? Yes. My name is Jared Tilos, and my date of birth is on February 1. Nice to meet you, sir. So, my lung and thorax assessment will, will involve feeling different parts of your chest, and I will be using a stethoscope. Would that be okay with you? That sounds good, yeah. Before we start, may I ask, are you experiencing any pain anywhere in your body? For this assessment, systematically examine the anterior, lateral, and posterior lung fields from apex to base and from side to side. Compare the right and left sides and make sure to document findings. Observe the client's position. Note the client's posture and his ability to support weight while breathing comfortably. The comparative heights of the shoulders provide a lead as does the shape of the spine. Observe color of face, nose, lips, and chest. Observe for the shape of anterior and posterior chest and lateral areas of the thorax. Have the client sit with arms at the side. Stand in front, side, and at the back of the client and assess shape and configuration. Note for rate, depth, rhythm, and pattern. Stand at the foot of the bed and carefully observe the client's quiet and deep breathing for equal expansion of the anterior chest. Sir, can you raise your arm like this as I check it? Note for color and shape of the nails. Have the client place the first phalanges of the four fingers and create a small diamond-shaped space when the first phalanges are opposed. Palpate for tenderness and sensation. Use fingers to palpate for tenderness, warmth, pain, or other sensations. Start forward at the midline at the level of the clavicle, over the apex of the left lung, and move your hand left to right, comparing findings bilaterally. Are you in pain? Move systematically downward and out to cover the anterior portions of the lungs. Palpate for surface characteristics. Use fingers to palpate any lesions that is noticed during inspection. Also feel for any unusual masses. Next, note for tenderness, motion, pulsation, and crepitus of the anterior chest. Assess for tactile primitus. Anteriorly, place palmar surface of fingers on auscultation sites and simultaneously ask the client to repeat 99 while palpating. Compare right and left sides. 99 Move the hands down 2 to 3 inches apart. Warm hands. Palpate anterior chest excursion at apex. 
place hand vertically on the chest with fingers spread on the coastal margin and thumbs together at the coastal angle. Palpate the base. Place the palms of both hands on the lower thorax with fingers laterally along the rib cage and thumbs along the coastal margins. Pinch some skin or gather a small fold of skin between the thumbs to assist with visualization of the results. Instruct the client to take a deep breath. For the anterior thorax, percuss the apices in the supraclavicular areas. Then, percuss the interspaces and comparing one side to the other and move down. Compare left and right. Note the tone, intensity, and pitch. Use zigzag or ladder approach in doing auscultation. Ask the client to breathe fairly deeply through the mouth. Auscultate with diaphragm through complete inspiration and expiration at each side. Note pitch, intensity, duration of inspiration and expiration and any adventitious breath sounds. Explain that you will be listening to the chest wall while the client says certain words, letters, or numbers. Then, auscultate. Bronchophony. Ask the client to say 99 each time you place the stethoscope 99. on the chest. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99 99 99 99 99 Ego funny Ask the client to say E each time you place the stethoscope on the chest E E E E E, 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 E. Whispered pectoriloquy. Ask the client to whisper one, two, three each time you place the stethoscope on the client. Cough. Assess by direct auscultation or direct hearing. Note moisture, pitch, quality, frequency. Note causes and type. Duration, severity, treatment, production of blood or other secretions with coughing. Palpate for tenderness and sensation. 
Cross arms to facilitate exposure of the back. Use fingers to palpate for tenderness, warmth, pain, or other sensations. Start forward at the midline at the level of the scapula, over the apex of the left lung, and move your hand left to right, comparing findings bilaterally. Move systematically downward and out to cover the lateral portions of the lungs. Palpate for surface characteristics. Use fingers to palpate any lesions that is noticed during inspection. Also feel for any unusual masses. Note for tenderness, motion, pulsation, and crepitus of the posterior chest. Assess for tactile frenitus. Place palmar surface of fingers on auscultation sites and simultaneously ask the client to repeat 99 while palpating. Compare right and left sides. Move the hands 99. down to the 3 inches 99. apart. 99. Use hands 99. that are placed simultaneously 99. on the lung fields including 99. lateral lung aspect. 99. 99. Palpate posteriorly by standing behind the client. Warm hands. Palpate posterior chest excursion at apex. Palpate, then the base. Place the thumbs at the 10th spinal rib and should be pointing toward each other and fingers pointing away from each other. Slide them medially to pinch a small skin fold between, between your thumbs. Ask client to inhale deeply and note if thumbs move apart symmetrically. For posterior thorax, position the client in a sitting position with the head flexed forward and the arms crossed on the lap or anterior chest. Percuss side to side or the ladder pattern. Compare left and right. Note the tone, intensity, and pitch. Percuss the apices and percuss the band of normally resonant tissue across the tops of both shoulders. Then percuss the interspaces, making a side-to-side -side comparison all the way down to the lung region. Percuss at 5 cm intervals. In percussing the diaphragmatic excursion, Position the client in a prone position and get a skin marker and a metric ruler. Ask the client to take a deep breath and hold it while you percuss downward along the scapular line until dullness is produced at the level of the diaphragm. Sir, can you take a deep breath and then hold? Mark this point with a marking pen. Sir, you can now breathe regularly. Ask the client to take a few normal breaths and then expel the last breath completely. Hold it while you percuss upward from the mark point to pass and mark the diaphragmatic excursion during deep expiration. No change from dullness to resonance. Sir, can you take a deep breath and then expel the last breath and hold?
Repeat the procedure on the other side of the chest. Sir, can you take a deep breath again and hold? Sir, you can now breathe regularly. Sir, can you take a deep breath again and then expel the last breath and then hold? You can now breathe normally. Measure the distance between the two marks. The right side may be one to two centimeters higher because of the location of the liver. Anticipate a greater distance on a physically fit client. Position the client in a sitting position in doing auscultation. Have him undress from waist up. Use zigzag or ladder approach. Ask the client to breathe fairly deeply through the mouth. Auscultate posterior chest starting at the apices at cervical 7 to the bases at approximately thoracic 10 and laterally from the axilla down to approximately the 8th rib. Assessment of voice sounds. Maintain client in sitting position. Explain that you will be listening to the chest wall while the client says certain words, letters, or numbers. Then, auscultate. Bronchophony. Ask the client to say 99 each time you place the stethoscope on the chest. 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 Egophony Ask the client to say E each time you place the stethoscope on the chest Whispered pectore loci. Ask the client to whisper one, two, three each time you place the stethoscope on the client. Cough. Assess by direct auscultation or direct hearing. Note moisture, pitch, quality, and frequency. Note causes, type, duration, severity, treatment, production of blood, or other secretions with coffee.